with a black eye, his nose was broke, his other hole cord came from behind, bomb blew me in the back of the head, I turned around, dug his bitch ass out, then a third nigga came, you know what I'm saying, me and Cuz started locking, oh my mama, I was seeing him, then the security guards came, tried to get me to stop squabbling, and I stole on one of them, knocked him out, and then the guards was all over me, I got my head busted, they tried to subdue me, I fought them off me, and got up out of there, and escaped. That's how I went. Even the motherfuckers at the squat meet know that he's telling the real. The Korean lady that owned the t-shirt store in the Slauson Swap Meet, if she remember me, this black image, she'll say what she said then. Oh, you fight very well. You fight very well. Who is you? Who is your arms are very big. Oh, neighborhood 90 trip. For the people out there that might be watching this video, can you explain what it's like to do a drive-by and why do you even do drive-bys? <laughs> Have you ever just gave somebody a pass when you really normally wouldn't have? Well, no. I always took advantage of what the fuck I had to do because I felt with the gunshots and my war wounds, you know, the checks of my tears, I was never given a pass, you know. The only reason I wasn't out of here is because the motherfucker couldn't shoot straight or, you know what I'm saying, I was running too goddamn fast. Me, myself, I'm a lot closer in person. The last thing you're going to ever see. It's my black ass walking away after I get through cutting your bitch ass down. Oh, nigga, little Chris. I'm a nigga that walk up, either beat you down or gun you down. Just what I would prefer because I was good with both, you know. But especially, I prefer to be the bitch ass coward nigga down that would do a drive by, especially and kill and hit an innocent little kid. That's what makes it bad for the Crips and the blood on this whole gang banging tip, and that's why. The white man is cracking down right now. Explain something to me. What's the major difference between bloods and crips? The differences of the neighborhoods and the weak and the strong. You have the strong, which is the crips, and then you have the weak, which is, you know, those other guys. Within the last 14 days, eight people have been killed in this area right over here, uh, not too far from where we're standing in Los Angeles. Can you explain, you know, to people out there what's going on between the, the, the wars in that area? Or can you speak on it or what? Man, it's just a sign of the times, brother. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Shit is just going to, you know what I'm saying, to happen regardless, you know, if you have a word in on it or not. It's just a sign of the times, man, and, you know, you have to go with the flow and, you know what I'm saying, make sure your motherfucking turn don't come before it's time. I remember when I was little, when you kill somebody, seven years was life. But now, if you kill a motherfucker today, you get 25 right off the top. And probably more than that. So, with that in mind, why would you even let banging enter your mind? It ain't worth it. It's, it's no more excitement to it at all. The game is over. It's a done deal. Too many niggas are dying every day. Okay. Some that deserve it and some that don't. I would like to give a shout out to my homeboy phone and Big Nine Ball from Nine Old Neighborhood Crips. Rest in peace. I love you, homie. The herd is still 
guilty and it's still strong, but you know, we can't do nothing but push on for our homeboys and hope to one day run across the haters that perpetrated the move like that. So, like you said, so we can mess them physically or, you know what I'm saying, put them in a place, you know what I'm saying, like they did our homeboys. So on that note right there, you know what I'm saying?